What's up? This is Pusha T, and you checking out Hip Hop Wired. I was never going to put out a tape. I put out a tape because I didn't want there to be a lack of music at any given point in time. Everybody wasn't happy about that. Like, everybody wasn't happy about me. Everyone, the label, a lot of people. Oh, everybody's happy after the, you know, it's <laughs> successful and it's fresh and people like it, yeah. My name is my name, and it's the title, title of my album. Definitely derived from The Wire, Marlo Stanfield. I've been in the game for too long, and people act like they don't know what they're getting from me. Like, you don't know what you're getting from Pusha T at this point. I've been who I've been, and on top of that, my name is my name. So it's like, you should already know what you're gonna get from me. A mixtape is totally against the good music way of doing things. It's like, you know, once you love it, once you like it, you love it, that's it, it's done. Like when you think of good music, like it's always a quality thing. And you know, the music goes through like 20 different processes. People don't know what really happens in the studio. It's Ye putting on his real executive producer hat. Whether he's commenting on a beat, and he's like, man, some 808s need to hit harder. You need, some, they need to be something else. Those drums need to hit, those kicks, those snares. Or whether he's like, man, that's the first line of the verse right there. Yeah, you gotta put your ego aside when you in there with Ye because as much as I care about my verses, he cares about the greatness of the song. So I don't think people have gotten like the, the Pac moment out of me, like the, you know, the, the rapping and talking crazy, like after, after it's over, like he's, motherfucker, you know motherfucker, you ain't, you like, you know, you ain't, like I don't do all that. My opinion was always like, man, it's only me. I can't just sit back and let, you know, a few verses come out and slap me up. I wasn't worried about it overshadowing anything because, like I said, I mean, I always do it in the spirit of like making a great record. Uh, probably to tell them what they mad for. I was under the impression that Swizz did the beat. Before I heard Wayne Stingy, I was like, man, you know, I was like, man, damn, I was, I was, I was annoyed because I was like, damn, man, Swizz, man, man, you got a great record together. Like, you had to get a super, a super producer about that. You, you and them about to do this to me. <laughs> I said, man, when I get me a Swiss beat, you know what, I'm going I'm to I'm show off on that beat, man. I really am.